One of the questions that keeps coming up is, if overlay widgets don't work, why are the big companies using them? So let's take a look at what I have on the whiteboard. I have a website and it's, we've got the Bigco website. And on the very bottom, we've got an accessibility icon, an accessibility logo, an emblem. And I have it superimposed to show a menu of options and there are toggles and it says accessibility menu. And so with this menu, you might be able to zoom in on a website. You might be able to highlight certain things. You can increase the text size. There are color contrast options, etc. So there are a lot of options. They're for to improve accessibility. And so there's a lure here because it's easy to do. You can install it quickly. And many of the vendors, many of the people that are selling these widgets will tell you this will make your website ADA compliant. This will stop lawsuits. This will make your website accessible. And there's a very convincing pitch, especially if you don't understand accessibility at all or you haven't researched it. So what's happening is the big companies are wrong. Yes, the billion dollar companies, they don't understand what they're doing or it may be that they view this as something temporary or they feel like they're actually doing something before they get ready for um, an, act, an actual accessibility undertaking. So they're going to make this out to be a big project and before they even start, they're going to install this widget because it's their way of feeling like they've done something. It may not be perfect. They understand that these widgets have flaws, but they're going to try something. And this widget is their in-between um, answer. But it doesn't work. That's what's important to know. It doesn't make your website accessible. Um, it doesn't make your website ADA compliant. And it definitely does not stop lawsuits. And I will provide links to resources that um, lay all of this out very objectively and empirically. So there are over, uh, there are hundreds of websites where, uh, or hundreds of lawsuits where websites have had overlay widgets installed and nevertheless been sued. So what is the problem here? Well, I'm not going to go into in depth, but the problem is, is that these overlay widgets, they lay over a website. So I'm drawing lines to indicate the widget, the widgets renderings, the widgets options, the, the, the um, different changes that it makes are applied over the website, hence the term overlay. It is laying over the website. And so why that's so important is that fundamentally your website is not being made accessible. No changes have been made to the code. No changes have been made to the content. And that's what you need to do to make a website accessible. You have to actually update the code and the content to be accessible. And when I say content, just think of video, think of images. We could add audio here. So, just, just with these three, just with these three, their video, you need closed captions. You might need audio descriptions with images. Of course, we need to decipher whether it needs alt text or not, and then um, know whether it's meaningful. And then with audio, we need to have transcripts. And so those are just three ways that we know these overlay widgets are not going to make a website accessible. But of course, again, it comes down to these are superficial changes superficial changes and they lay over the website, but they don't actually make the website accessible. So just as you are trying to understand accessibility and work through this, so too are the big companies. And remember the big companies, when you just, when you break them down, they're really just people in a lot of times it's the marketing department that is in charge of this, or it may even be uh, the web designers and the web developers. And if, they, if they're new to accessibility, if they're unfamiliar with it, they still may be working through it. And so um, this may be a result of the fact that they didn't research and or, as I mentioned before, they don't understand accessibility. But just know that even these billion dollar companies, these household names, they're wrong too. They get this wrong too. They don't understand this. They're still trying to work through it. And so um, when you see a big company with an overlay widget installed, just know that they've taken the wrong course of action and that ultimately you will see this 
uh, be removed from the website. That is, that is what will happen. Um, I guarantee it because these big companies have too much to lose and it really looks badly uh, that, that they've chosen this path and not actually made their website accessible. So um, yeah, that's what's happening, right? When you see these big companies and, and you're like, well, how can, they, how can they be using this overlay widget and how could it be wrong for me to use it too? Um, really right there, that's just uh, psychology. You're looking for social proof. You're looking for cues from uh, other players and with, with more stake in the game, but understand that they've made the wrong decision, that you do not want to have one of these on your website and that it is not going to help, help accomplish the objectives that you are um, seeking out. So remember, overlay widgets don't make your website accessible. They don't make your website ADA compliant and they do not stop lawsuits.